वेलकम बैक दिस इज माई एस एल डेव को यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज सालिंद टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू लेसन सीरीज इट इज इमेज प्रोसेसिंग यूसिंग सी शार्प दो वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन ओपन सी वी एंड एम यू सी वी दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन सीरीज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो हाउ टू ओपन अ इमेज कन्वर्ट टू इट कन्वर्ट इट टू ग्रे एंड कन्वर्ट इट टू नेगेटिव एंड फाइनल सेव द आउटपुट इमेज लेट्स गो टू द वीडियो Uh, first of all you have to install open cv in your computer uh, using this link i will put this link in my description you can go the, uh, you can go to this link and download it your computer i already downloaded it this is the open cv folder uh, yes okay now you have to open your visual studio 2019 I'll open it and go to the file and create a new project. New project. Uh, you have to choose C sharp and search Windows app. Yes, Windows Form application. Select that and next you have to give a project name. I project image processing. image processing basic after that you have to uh, process you have to choose your location uh, i will choose my look uh, workspace and create folder and create mm, we'll see this is take few times to load Uh, we'll see what's going. Mm, yes, project is open. Uh, this is the form. You can resize it like this. Uh, after that, you can change form name. Uh, it will display form one. Uh, right click the and go to properties, and there is a text file, text field. uh you can edit it i will give image processing basic uh and enter after that it will display your uh, box and after that uh, first step you have to do some configuration it mean you have to add some dil files those dil files also i will upload at my github and share the link in description you can go download it after that you can browse i will already downloaded those dil file you can select the open cv sharp dil file uh dil open cv dil file and add and okay and after that you have to add some dil files go project right click your project folder add existing item and go to this dil file folder previous you enter previous you open uh, you can choose all files and select those dil files and add okay uh, first step is done uh, <coughs> now you have to uh design your project go to toolbox and add picture box picture box uh picture box yes it will display drag and drop in your box yes it can be size like this uh this is the loaded picture and you have to give result picture also that's why i have to add another picture box uh, it also can resize like this and after that you have to add uh, two buttons uh, i will add button click button it also drag and drop your box and you have to another button 
to convert it to gray now you can change those names button 1 button 2 picture box 1 picture box 2 those names you can change go to properties and you can select you can change it id i will change it button original uh, yes you see i will next box i will change pick uh, result i will change it like this now you have to uh, click button button one you gave it i gave it btn open button name i will change save uh, open and the next button i will change button id btn uh, gray and button name i will change gray yes okay now you have to open the image in your computer uh, so double click the open button and now you have to write your code open the image uh, open dialog open file dialog mm, I will write my open file function o file op file equal new open file dialog brackets uh, op file filter mm. brackets image file and bracket as dot b mp uh, there is some errors ah, yes you have to copy in your in your bracket yeah, into bracket cut and bracket cut and paste into bracket yes uh, png uh, yes bmp uh, yes you have to write to write this uh, it will display some error uh, I will see. Yes, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, pick original dot okay equal equal or file. Yes, uh, show dialog. Mm. Oh, what's what's yes, yes. Uh, you can code this easily I think this video is very really helpful for you uh, I think uh, there is some error oh no oh, yes no this dot pick original dot dash yes yes now I will check I will run the code and I will check it works or not. Uh, it's running. Uh, we'll see what's going. Mm, I think there is no error. We'll see. It's open or not. Uh, ah yes, it's open. Now now i will open the image uh, where is my image uh, uh, go to the workspace i yes there is an image yes it's open that function is okay now you have to convert it to gray uh, that's why uh, you have to create another uh, cs file right click your project add new item i will save it uh, method 
and add yes uh, now you have now you have to gray function method yes i will copy paste it and this function uh, there is some error yes you have to add some libraries yes it's fine error is gone uh, this is the this part is the gray function look at yes now you double click the gray button you have to write call that function in this mm, no bitmap yes pick original image uh, I will call it you can see it convert to gray copy yes this dot pick result uh, yes an image equal copy yes now I will run the code and see the output you have to open image my, my image is open click gray yes it's working fine uh, now you have to convert to gray to negative uh, I have to add another button I will put that gray button middle of the box yes now you have to create another button type button drag and drop this button uh, it name must be change negative go to properties and save the button name button 1 to negative it's change negative yes now you have to change button id also you can give it your choice i will bta negative yes uh, double click the negative uh, negative button no uh, now you have to go to method cs file and you can code here inside this is yes this is the code look at I will comment all the code line you can understand easily now click double click to negative button you have you can copy this code and paste it in your negative function yes you have to change this convert to negative yes now you can run the code and see the output we'll see what's going it's working or not start yes it's it's open open the image first of all you have to open the image yes gray yes it's working negative yes it's also working gray negative those buttons are working now uh, now you have to add save button after that you can save the output image that's why I add this button uh, I change the name uh, I will change that save yes ID btn save yes now you have to code that function yes there is some error you can import this yes error is gone uh, system dot draw in imaging that's in uh, yes and now you can run the code we'll see first you open the image yes gray yes negative yes now you can save the image click save button now you can 
I will select desktop and save the image you have to give name to name it I will SLD code and save it now it will display in your it will download it in, into desktop yes this I will double click uh, this way yes it's, uh, we'll see what's going yes it's open this is the downloaded image uh, that's the code now you have now you can design your uh, design I will design like this it, it can do your choice you can drag those things like this and I'll in, I'll put text box so I want to give a topic for this code I'll change it and there is a text field empty text field you have to write to a headline I'll type image processing image processing yes after that it will display in a box yes now uh, if you like you can change those uh, colors also go to color and click this button and custom the color I will put uh, no it's not good I will put orange yes it's nice uh, now you can change font size also I will bold and 14 okay yes it's okay it's fine now you can change the background of the box this box go to properties and back, back color select and uh, yes that's color is very nice uh, now you can add uh, colors in your bo picture box also yes white color result pick box also I will change color to white yes those also good now I will change buttons colors yes now you can change the font size also I will not change font size I will do it con uh, convert to Hold. Uh, do the same all the buttons yes bold ok there is four buttons we do same all the buttons yes I think it's very attractive yes bold you have to bold yes this is my final design uh, finally we will run the code once again uh, yes this is your final output open the image uh, open the image yes gray negative now you can save to desktop processing and save yes I will open downloaded image yes it's open yes I hope you got basic idea of the image processing let me in the comment section if you have doubts you can ask and do subscribe like share the video thank you for watching goodbye